test. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh yeah, it does. It works on stream, but not in Discord. That's peculiar. Oh. Wait, wait, no, you can hear me now, Hack? I sure can. Hello. Okay. As a review, this is Wumper, Roach, Justice, and Camiro, yeah? Yes. Spoilers, though. Alright. Well, I was already on that screen. <laughs> True, actually. Before schedule. One of these days, an event will run ahead of schedule. It all started with the monarch seeds. True, Cloyce did pick the seeds. So this all originates <laughs> with just checking the shops. There, There is a seeded portion of Taskmaster later, but I did already check the seed to make sure it was not what a nightmare. on earth? Oh, GPU problem. Of course. Wait, what? I just fixed that. Uh-oh. Cloyce's idea to put that first. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that doesn't make sense, though. They should be launched in the same GPU now. Let me try the other GPU. I, I love laptops with two GPUs in them, by the way. It's really good because if, if you, like, they're separate from each other, so OBS cannot capture things that are using the other GPU. How do you have a laptop with two GPUs? Has a one built in and then an extra one. Ooh. All right, surely this time VLC will launch in a way that OBS can capture it. Aha! There we go. They're real. Down well. 15 years of Downwell. Oh, and um, a rhythm game. <laughs> All oh, right. And, uh, Wumper has made it to Duot. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a... What, what run is this? What is he doing? I don't know. It looks like a very good um, six-minute Duot pace. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um... I'm not seeing any in immediate encoding issue, so I think we're going to okay. have to we roll with this. save those for when you capture me. Oh my god, because that's also on a different GP. I hate, I hate OBS. <laughs> oh. oh no, there we go. You're, you're real. I think. Oh, I need to pop it out, that's why. Brief jump scare. Oh my god, now you're real. Okay. okay. All right. Are gamers, we ready? Is gamers, everything we working? Have done it. We have managed think, to load four streams. I think it is time to do Taskmaster. Okay. Where's Cloyce's VTuber? True, I should have set up my PNG tuber that my friend That's made so me. Silly. Okay. We're going to have my Loki, but, you know, things, yeah. things happen. It, they're hopefully rested up and feeling better. All right. Now it is actually time for Taskmaster. Uh, it's like other things, but a little creative and cool. Anyway, we're going to just immediately start doing it. We're good? All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to be bringing in our first group of participants. As you can see on the screen, Justice, Kyrua, Wumper, and Roach. We'll pull them into the channel and discuss our first task. All right. Uh, so now I have to do that, which requires doing this, which makes you Yeah, invisible. pull them in. Pull them in. Hello. 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 Hi there. Welcome, group number one, Justice Chimera Wumper. Roach, congratulations on completing your first task of being very patient. <laughs> you all get a perfect score. Um, I reached limbo. Yes. 
So, all four of you, very good at Spelunky, very good at Spelunky 2. Um, you all signed up for the uh, Pet Rock Adventure task. Um, so, I'll be explaining it once again for you guys and as well for the chat who have never heard about it before. Um, our participants have seen the tasks in advance, so they do have ideas prepared. We wanted to make sure that nobody was blindsided. Um, for this task, each player will begin at the same time and have 10 minutes to bring their pet rock to a unique and interesting location. They may drop the rock, but not swap it or leave it behind. Runs are unseated and shortcuts are allowed, just in case one of you dies, which I'm sure none of you will be doing for the entire duration of the task, right? Because you don't want to leave your rock behind. Of course. We meet again in the afterlife. Yes, of course, of course. So, do any of you have any questions? Do you have any things you need to clear up before we get started? Do we need to get a rock on one one? Uh, yes, get the rock on your first level if you can. If you have to get it on the second level, I'm not gonna throw a fit like over you don't here. Have to okay. do this. It's just on the level, not yeah, actually. Yeah, if, it, rock the later you point. pick up the rock, the more that I might scold <laughs> you for your um, performance. So I see. Just keep it in mind. You may want to be a little bit cautious about that. Really but yeah, I mean, if you get it on the second level, I won't completely eradicate your existence. What's the legality of using a hired hand to hold your rock for a level or two? As long as you have the rock that you started with, and you bring it to the location, everything's fair game. Okay. You do not have oh, to be yeah. the one that holds it. However, be careful with those guys. More uh, yeah. more points. Yeah, with bonus points. Bring multiple Ooh. rocks. Bring five rocks if you want. <laughs> I don't care. Broke family. Yeah, exactly. If you want to create a pet rock family, that can get you some bonus points. All right. I think we're all ready to go. We're going to move you guys back into your own voice, voice channel for the duration of the task. We'll pull you back in when we're done, um, and we'll give you a countdown in the channel momentarily. All right. So make sure okay. you're checking the threat. All right, and let's get them all to the hub door before we begin our first task. So yeah, this first task is going to be, it's probably the most skill intensive task of the, the group that we're going to be doing so far. Um, it's a little bit creativity focused though. So if people want to push it to uh, a further area, they need to be confident enough to be able to keep their rock alive and not die. Um, but you don't have to necessarily go far in the game to get the rock to a unique and interesting location. So it's a little bit of a, a back and forth there on if you want to push the boundaries by going for a difficult place or go to some place interesting and creative. So I'm going to give them a countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I, I typed go in all caps and it got muted. So but go! It'll <laughs> probably work out with stream delay. Don't worry about it. So. Let's keep an eye on our participants. I'm curious to see what we're what, what's going to happen because some options are are pretty rough. Like I I don't think we're going to see Cosmic Ocean because doing Cosmic Ocean in in that kind of time um is is pretty rough, especially if you also have to be carrying a pet rock. I'm wondering if anybody's going to try Duot because Duot actually requires the hired help. Makes me think that Roach might have been thinking about that. Um, Unlike Pet Rock, some of you might know there's a Pet Rock category in Spelunky HD. We don't have a rule where you have to hold the rock at all times. Um, that would be a little bit brutal. We decided to just go with get the rock, bring it wherever you'd like. Ooh, we see the Ujat from Wumper. Okay, all right. So we're, we're, we're going to get a chain experience, probably. Can you waddler the rock? Ooh, we didn't, we didn't, they didn't ask about that. I... I'm leaning towards that that's fine, because it, it, it is, in a way, from a storytelling perspective, the same rock. Even though on a technical level, it's not. One forgot a dark level. These are unseated runs, as mentioned briefly in the rules. Um, we were Originally, there was some thought about doing seated so that people could scout their seeds and find like a unique thing. But just to make things a little bit easier on the organization side, we decided to just leave it unseated. Um, we're having some non-cooperation from Quillback on Roach's run. And we have Chimero getting a jetpack, which is going to help. Like I said, this is this one's a bit more skill-intensive, and if you get items, that's good. 
But um, at the same time, like this is about creativity and, and doing something interesting and different. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily about just doing something that's really hard and, and, and challenging and scary. Also, Chimero's pet rock is a pilot. Yes. I just noticed. I would also like to point out that he did actually pick up a rock that was in Spikes, which would have been invisible had he not been using that mod. Oh, Whoopers got a higher... He's got... They, these two are going Duot. They're both going Duot. So I if they both go this. Duot, is it no longer a creative place to be if they both go to the is same that, place? Is that is that a deduction? Probably, it's Look, here's the thing. I'm willing to give, like, a joint victory if their choice is still more interesting than the other two. Um, but I, I do think... Wait. Well, Wait, I would like to Roach point is, out that Roach is in the moon challenge. There's no way. He's going to try and do that in 10 minutes. Uh, do we do we know when we started, by the way? Um, we started at 2.18 for me, okay. which is 3.18 Eastern. So we'll go up until around. We'll give them a little bit of extra time if they need it. But okay. um, definitely cut off at 29. All right. So, uh oh, no, Justice has a death. <laughs> There is still time. This is why we have shortcuts, and Justice is going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Okay. It's going to be going into Olmec. All right, so Chimero has a duplicate of himself. Wumper is now heading to Vlad's castle, and Roach is moving through the jungle, having obtained the bow. So it looks like we're going to be seeing a Duat and a Cosmic at the very least. I'm not sure what we're seeing from Chimero yet. And, of course, we're not sure with Justice either because of that little death. With that jetpack, if 4-2 cooperates, we could see an eggplant world. Yeah, eggplant world would be very, very fun. I would love to see an eggplant world. I mean, that's called... That eggplant world is very much playing to who the taskmaster is. The eggplant king himself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's, there is an aspect of this. I'm not going to lean into it too much. But if people pander to me, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say no to that. All right, we got a jetpack for Roach in his black market. Just coming in for the jetpack, not interested in the hedget. So Roach seems to be pretty committed to Cosmic and not necessarily a, a chain backup. We got Wumper on his Olmec going for the Ankh. Oh, Justice stuck back at Olmec as well. There's still plenty of time, though, and shortcuts are allowed. Chimero is heading to Vlad's. And getting the crown. So we might be seeing something chain related from Chimero as well. Maybe an Abzu situation? Abzu would be quirky. It looks like he's picking up as many hired hands as he can for some reason. Yeah, I'm noticing there's a lot of hired help. Oh, he's going. killing them all. Okay, well, less well, now. Well, he's. No, see, what he's doing is he is um, increasing his friendship. Uh, d does Roach know which rock is his? Surely. Oh, oh. What is he, wait, is he getting multiple rocks? What, what, what is happening? <laughs> I, is, I wasn't we got, looking. We got I don't a, know. We got he, a Monty Hall problem going on did, here. He's, did he pull or, a fast one on us? Is this three, a new three card, he, He's got a three card Monty. That's what I'm thinking of, not Monty Hall. Oh, man. He just All pulled right, a three card Monty Bumper on us. Entering the City of Gold. Could this be it? Are we going to have our first location reached? City of Gold, a pretty interesting location. But it looks yeah, like City Wumper does want to go to Duat. not bad. Right, as I was saying, by getting rid of all of the fake pilots, Ooh. he is professing his true love to the pilot rock. That's what I was going to say about Camaro. That was really close. There was a leprechaun waiting for him at... What? Wait. He turned his rock into an arrow? That's interesting. That might be, that might be considered animal cruelty, actually. I wasn't ready for this question. Is he going to throw it? Like, is he going to use it as a weapon? Oh, it's a poison arrow now! What? I I can't believe what I'm witnessing. I mean, this is, this is a difficult question because, I mean, I would love to just say this is really cool, but there's also the cruelty angle here of turning a rock into a shaped arrow and then poisoning it. Was poison part of the plan? I guess that does make sense is he is he gonna okay okay not throwing it all right we have roach and neo babylon and we have chimero still in olmec 
We also have justice in Olmec. Lumper did not stop in Duat, which is interesting. I wonder if he has a grander plan here. Yeah, I'm curious uh, who the intended recipient of this poison arrow is. I'm going to give him a two-minute warning. I mean, is throwing the arrow okay? Because once it becomes a blunt arrow, you have effectively lost the rock. Oh, I would say a... that still counts as the rock. Does it, though? Because it's just the nub that's left over. We have Roach on Tiamat. This is what I was talking about at the start. See, Cosmic Ocean, like, I do think Cosmic Ocean is very interesting. But getting to Cosmic in 10 minutes with a rock is pretty rough. So he's going to have to rush through his sunken here. He doesn't have a lot of bombs. We have Chimero in the temple now, wielding a scepter. Wumper's going to make this hard for me, because this task is about bringing to a unique location. And while changing the rock is very interesting, if he brings it to a less interesting location, that doesn't necessarily give him a free win. All right, we have Roach and Sunken. And we still have Chimero and Temple, Justice and Tide. I appreciate is the, also going sunken. the vibe of the imprecise timing here in terms of whether Roach is allowed to reach CO. Another Leprechaun trying to mess with the run. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Looks like Chimero will be tapping out oh, of City no! of Gold. Oh my god, Chimero just died. <laughs> Not going to reach Duot, it looks like. Oh, his plans. All of those plans might be out the window now. All right, what's the backup? We have Wumper aggroing ton. Wait, no, yeah, wait. this is... This, no, this is, wait. Wait. He poisoned himself. Yeah. And then, is he going to put it where the arrow of what? Yeah. Wow. Okay. No, that, okay. That's, I wish he didn't poison himself. I wish it was still an arrow there. I, but... I agree, but. Okay. Roach might be doing a backup strat here because we're about to run out of time. He's leaving it in the Goliath Frog's guts. Yeah. And Chimero appears to be doing his own backup of leaving his rock in a pile of corpses. <laughs> <laughs> all right and we'll give justice uh one last little bit of uh time to see if they can find their own little backup looks like only wumper's plans came through because the time like the 10 minute timer it kind of cuts things a little short we got a lot of skillful players who wanted to go far yeah we don't always get that opportunity So we'll give a quick 30 seconds, but... All right, and Wumper is dead. Dead to his own, um, his own rock, in fact. The real rock was inside of us all along. The pilot evolution. This is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, how did he do that? <laughs> this is incredible. Did the, where's the rock? What happened to the rock? There's no rock! <laughs> yeah, wait, where did Justice's rock go? Justice's rock must have gotten crushed or something. <laughs> Alright, let's bring him back in here. Yeah, let's bring him okay, back in. let's bring him in. Failed plans, sad turns. Oh. I it seems like all of the plans little went a little bit sideways, <laughs> yep. except for Wumper, apparently. I'm perfectly. I'm so happy with my plan. My goodness. So, our, to clarify, you all have a chance. So, explain to me what your final rock placement is, one at a time. We'll start with you, Justice. So, very, am very oh, ambitious. Uh, first one was cosmic and i was like oh i don't have don't have time for that i reset too many times of course yeah. uh, afterwards it was the second pivot that was the olmec shortcut that one was going to be two eggplant world with a bubble skip and a hired hand 
very ambitious, of course. The mm -hmm. third one, the third one was going to be a rope skip uh, to the top and just placing it behind Hundun, not Hundun, behind Tun. And and our final location was. Um... Uh, it was hitting. Uh, <laughs> I used all my ropes, and it was hitting right behind the guard that defends uh, Tusk's vault. So that was right. the final location, sadly. Very interesting. It, it is a unique location, admittedly. Um, I wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to grade it in a moment. Chimera, mm. your final location. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I'd like to get. I'd like it to be described. I wanted to show the evolution that the rock will eventually go through. Of course. So from from, what would you the call journey it? of man? What would you describe the rock as? Like a, a pilot egg. Basically, yes. Yeah, and then from he it has a little hat as well. And that's from from that is born then the pilot species who yes. evolve over time into a score runner. <laughs> yes, precisely. That's why I ended up in City of Gold as well. <laughs> okay, that that does make sense. Certainly, you were not there because you died and didn't get to go to Duat. It was just your plan no, no, in the beginning. No. Right. Okay, I understand. Wumper, I don't think yes. I need yours explained, but I would love to hear it. Well, you know. I, first of all, I had to reach the city of God. Am I am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I had to reach the city of God because that's the perfect place for for my my rock to transform into a higher dimension, and for that, meaning I had to create an arrow out of it with an altar, and I had to get sixteen favor for that. So I had to get a higher pants. I went for kind right. blah blah blah. Yeah, and I had to keep one alive uh, so I can go to do it and still keep my my pet rock. Uh, yeah, we together slayed Osiris. I also throw it through a cobra, so it got poisonous. I saw that. That was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then my rock betrayed me and poisoned me, and uh, and it took yeah. the place of the arrow of light. Yeah, so. Future to grow and mold can... itself into the future. Yes, wow. so future spankers can conquer. Incredible. We did. And then Roach. Yeah. Uh, kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you have any, do you have any further elaboration on that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, my, my plan was to do an eggplant run and put it in the grave of the Empress. But Ooh. I didn't get an eggplant, um, mm -hmm. and so I had the bow as a backup plan. And then you said two minutes when I was just yeah. in Second City, and I I got like I was like I don't have enough time for that. So I, I yeah exactly. I literally said right at the start once you guys begun, I was like Cosmic's an option, but doing it in ten minutes with a rock. Yeah, I think command. I think I would have had enough time. Um, actually, like I was in the Goliath Rock for like maybe a minute before you. Yeah, said it, it would have been left. really like, close. I think, I think I would have been fine. You would have had to do some juggling on Hundun, though, which is pretty sketchy. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the main thing is, like, the bomb process. But, no, I think Kidney Stone is good enough. <laughs> it's, it is. All right. I think I think I have my verdict. I I hate to I hate to break it to you, Justice, but I think you're going to take figured. fourth. Which is, you know, a valiant... It was still unique, okay? Don't let anyone take that away from you. Um, third is very tricky. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it to Chimero, a solid bronze medal for showing the evolution of Pilot into a full grown right. score runner. Um, Roach probably uh, eked it out over Chimero just by saying the words kidney stone. Um, <laughs> that's, that single handedly secured the silver medal, but I will, Wumper, give you the first place, the gold medal prize. I will, however, say. Thank you. Um, I hope that rock consented because that, that, that could be considered animal abuse to have changed the rock without its permission. Um, and cover it with poison also. It's like metamorphosis. Like... Yeah, and it clearly got its revenge anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, well, I took... thank you all. That was fantastic. I, I delighted in seeing all of the chaos unfold in the backup plan, so it was very, very good. Uh, but you are all dismissed. You may go about your day as we prepare for our second groups. Thanks, you four. Really appreciate it. Farewell. Bye. All right. So, one kidney stone later, <laughs> we're going to move on to our second group. I really did not expect kidney stone. That was, um, 
that was very different. That was very creative from Lumper, though. Uh, replacing the arrow of light with his own arrow. Is, Lumper is... told an entire story. Like, you know, yeah. like, he, he was ready with that. That was very impressive. Very impressive performance. So let's get our second group ready. Yeah, can you ping them to go live? Probably should have yes. done that, like, three minutes ago. I think some of them are live already, which is good. Okay. Yeah, Mosscast kind of throws a fit if you try to load someone's stream who isn't live. Ah, of course. Oh my god, this picture. Yukubo, you better post that in the Twitch chat for everyone to see. This is fantastic. So as our next group gets prepared, we'll be taking a moment, letting them go live, getting ready to perform their segment. Um, the Pet Rock has completed. That one was uh, that one was interesting and a little bit different than the next two. That one was very skill focused with a with a sort of creative twist on it. Um, as a result, though, obviously it's prone to having things go wrong. But that's kind of half the fun is when things mess up and people have to find backups. Without without something like that, we would never have gotten the Goliath Kidney Stone which I think should be the next name of the Goliath games, personally. Um, the next one's going to be a little bit more um, sort of quirky and, like, how do I describe it? It's going to be a little bit technical. It's very goal-oriented. There's going to be, like, a rigid score um, just, to, just to get that going. And then the final task is going to be pure chaos. It's going to be just nonsense. Um Skill is technically involved, but uh, it, it may in fact just be a disaster. Twitch just died. That's good. I'm I'm glad to hear. Are, um, is Moss Ranking still live? Because, yeah, I'm seeing that people's streams are struggling when I, when I try to load them. I can still see Moss Ranking. Usually with stuff like this, as long as you're in a stream ahead of time, um, everything is stays working. But if you reload... That will be bad. Okay. So I would I would recommend not doing that. I, can you still capture the streams? Because in theory, maybe. Uh, they are. I am not able to fetch. At least it's not fetching quality options through Mosscast. It's not letting me grab anybody. Mm. Wow. That's okay. We can think about. Okay. Our beautiful pet rock display. Um, depending on how long this is, we can stream to Discord as a backup, although we will lose the VTuber from that. Oh, tragedy. Imagine. They won't be able to. Uh, I'm going to give it like two or three minutes for, for. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Twitch, Twitch comes back in one piece. Be real. Okay, at least the Discord server crashing did not happen today and instead happened yesterday oh yeah i forgot that discord, would have just discord completely deleted attack. the event basically there's nothing we could do if discord crashes yeah isn't it great to be so reliant on these things that can just suddenly up and die yeah sometimes when a twitch issue like this happens it does sometimes resolve quickly but we'll have to give it a second See. I wasn't there for the huge Discord outage. It sounded very exciting, though. Oh, it was, like, the purge. Like, e like every, like, individual servers were just going, like, dropping and then coming back. Incredible. Sure, we could always move to Skype. Okay, I, th I have just successfully loaded Cosine's quality options, so Ooh. I... I'm hopeful. We might be saved. We may still have the VTuber. We have mention of Twitch working again. Okay, it was, just, it was just a minor outage, hopefully. Mindy is not live. Okay, there we go. I will bring you the Taskmaster scene in a short moment here. Excellent. Uh, looks like everything is working again. God, I love this art showcase. So good. It's so good. I 
like it, y'all got the task of creating oh fantastic art and you'll all claimed first prize but who will get second prize in the beauty contest that's the real question all right Ooh, should i bring that's in a tough one should i bring in the four gamers here uh if the capture is all ready to go absolutely all right Looks like we're good there. Yeah, okay. Yes, bring them in, group two. Let's go. Welcome, participants. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed uh, waiting patiently for like an hour. <laughs> Let's go. How far behind are we Let's on go. schedule? Like an hour and a half now? Something like that. Something like it, that. You know, it's bonus content. You know, we like to provide extra. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed your predecessors and their meltdown that they had. I'm sure nobody will be melting down in this in this part of the the Taskmaster segment. But oh yeah, we're gonna be fun. Well, everything is gonna be great. I'm gonna get really good shops. Everything's gonna be perfect. I I don't know why you would need Can't to get wait. good shops, but I guess I could read the task and maybe that would give us some insight, wouldn't it? Oh wow. Oh yeah. Oh, let's... What I said would make way more sense. <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Let's see. I mean, to oh, be fair, I... you want good shops no matter what your task is. I'm pretty well, sure. Uh, unless it's low percent, then you don't really care very much. But that's that's true. Our second task for this group number two is as follows: Each player begins with two hundred thousand dollars and must lose wow. as much of it as possible. The player with the least amount of money after ten minutes wins. Your lowest score at any point will count, even if you end up dying and starting over. Runs are unseated, and shortcuts are allowed in case anything goes wrong. Or you could just use them at the start. That's also cool if you just want to jump straight to the jungle or something. You're allowed to do that. Um, it's still, it's still 200000 right? Okay, I have one yeah. question. Okay, good. Is right. $0 more or less points than exactly $1? $0 is better. And if you hit $0 and another person hits $0, it might be down to who's bad. So. Mm. Well, to you. Do, do any of the participants have any questions they'd like to share? How do I uh, buy items? Um, you're going to use the interact key. It's the same as the door button. All right, thank you. Um, you can pick them up if you'd like, but it's not required. I think with that, we've covered all of our bases, though. So we're going to send should, the four uh, of you. Uh, find the mod. Oh, is the mod working? <laughs> uh, wait, why did... I swear to God, I just went this black. yesterday. We had all day. We had to make ample sure that the time. Worked. <laughs> yeah, it works. It's just I don't know why my screen went black. My computer's been acting kind of weird lately. It's okay. It's just trying to handle all the money. It doesn't yeah. come out of nowhere. Um, hopefully it works. That would be I good. I have money on a new PC. Forget Taskmaster. <laughs> PC Master. All right, four of you. We'll be sent back to the pit. Um, we'll be giving you no. a countdown oh, yeah, yeah. in just a moment um, for when to start your task. You can stand at the hub door or any of the other shortcut doors. It's fine. Just be in the hub area, and we'll give you a countdown. Okay. Yeah, once Traco's stream comes back, hopefully. Hey, I wish... Actually, hold on. Let me get my phone and take a picture of this. This is really weird. <laughs> New task just dropped. Take a picture of the weirdest stream problem. <laughs> I think Hazel would have won last night. Going down to zero and then stealing count as going into debt. No, you don't really repay debts in this game, do you? Wait, are we supposed to like stay in the pit or can we like talk to our chats? You can do whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll move like, you uh, into like, the pit once Chaco's captured. Uh, as, as, long as, can, as long as we can, as long as we can bring you Wait, back. Gonna... <laughs> like if you're just in the pit and deafened, that's also fine. Okay, that's I'm gonna send you a picture of what my desktop looks like right now. All right, it's in general. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Tried rice. Um, have you tried ending the Spelunky 2 task? Oh, I could actually do that. Oh, I have you two could, mod you monkeys use the, running. The task man manager, which is not the task master. Oh, <laughs> oh, very different, crucial distinction. I might just straight up try uh, restarting my computer. I'll be back in like one sec. Okay. Y'all, right. let's go. All right, we've got we've got, go. the, we've got the we've got the second computer schedule. restart. Can we get two hours behind schedule? Can we make it happen? This is all bonus content. All right. Let's go. 
these people signed up for 15 hours of Spelunky, and they're going to get 40. I cannot wait to do triathlon at 5 in the morning. Does anybody (laughs) want this bonus content? I do. Of course I do. Okay. I'm I'm just thinking, you know, I wouldn't want a bunch of bonus content that consisted of the stream not working, but I suppose this is inevitably what happens when you're doing this for like 16 hours. Yeah, as it turns out, when you have four different hosts and 18 different segments, uh, they don't all go perfectly. But That's honestly, I, I'm pretty happy with how they're going so far. So, you know. Oh, we needed all been of like the bonus straight up content. Canceled yet. Q-Ball is currently doing the tutorial without uh, using whip climbing to go faster, so it's a little suboptimal. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> New error code on startup, but it looks okay. Exciting. Ooh. That's exciting news. Spicy right. words that I would be un- unsettled by if I was having that issue. So it's an error code, but it's probably fine. It's new though. That's that's what keeps it interesting. Yeah. I mean, honestly, sometimes if you do if you're dealing with software issues, getting something different to go wrong is like a, a step in the right direction. I'm writing it down for the next Taskmaster. Get the most unique new error code on your PC. Oh. We should have had a Taskmaster for, like, crashing the game. That would have been kind of cool. <laughs> crash the game in the what? most interesting... Or crash most the game interesting in... No, crash the game, game in crash. the most unique ways possible in 10 minutes. Crash the game as many... That would, that would be a... That would be a... Minutes. Well, yeah. But I think in HD, like, crashing in as many different ways is pretty funny. We'll do a we'll do a franchise too. Taskmaster where you can crash in any of the game. Oh no, franchise Taskmaster is like you just put that idea in my brain, and like we're gonna do this event again at some point. So we'll have to yeah, decide. Yeah, I think that, I think the moment that Kidney Stone was announced on the 15 year event, we established that Taskmaster will be happening again. Yeah, ta- Taskmaster, uh, you heard it here first. Will probably return uh, oh, in 2024, depending on exactly hey. what our event schedule looks like, but. And we might not even need to reset one PC per task, which we're currently averaging. Oh. Is this a recurring issue? I had to restart before the beginning of this stream. So we have the sample size of two, and there's been a restart on each one. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a pretty definitive trend, I think. Sam CV asking, can Taskmaster return in 2023? Hectique, what are your thoughts on that? No. Okay. You'll get one in 2024. There's like holidays that get in the way of making something happen. (laughs) Goliath Games will be returning in 2021. The Clip It. All crashes triathlon. Oh yeah, bring bring Chaco back in. Oh, yeah, okay. This is stream return. Let me try to launch it. Welcome back, sir. How is your black screen? So I had to uh, do some stuff. I I just have uh, Discord on my phone now, so it shouldn't be eating all my RAM anymore. And my Chrome is closed. Okay. Excellent. It looks like it is generating your stream. So are, are you ready to go? Yeah, stream looks good. Yeah, it looks correct. All right, cool. hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to enable speaker on this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whatever. You guys will just be quiet. You can say. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Let's send them all to the pit. We'll give you a countdown in the thread for your task. Okay. And uh, yeah, just stand wherever you want in the hub. It's fine. All right. All right. Ready. Send them. All right, our second PC reset of the Taskmaster segment. I, I I think we should do predictions on who will do the third PC reset. Maybe it's me. Maybe it'll be me. That's exciting. Think about it. Anyway, of course, this task, all about money management. There's obvious options like the black market. There's some interesting options like the True Crown. You possess the True Crown, you'll be spending twice as much money. Technically, you could also just find some monkeys and have them steal from you for a very long amount of time. I'm not sure. These people have had time to figure out some strategies in advance, and uh, we're going to see them put into action. But crucially, if they die, they have to start over. 
200k. So, we're going to give him a countdown. 10, 9, 8. Why is Chaco not in the hub? Chaco, get in hub. You goofball. Why is... He's, he's gambling. Why is he get? To be Chaco. fair, this is very efficient. He's going to lose 200k before the, the event even starts. Chaco, what is he doing? Is... What? Get in the hub! Get, he's crazy! He's trying to cheat! Chaco is currently cheating. Okay. okay. Oh, countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! With less cheating this time! Let's go. We're going to dock points from him. If, it, if, it, if there's a tie situation, if, if Chaco has the same score as somebody else, we are, we are absolutely uh, docking points. That is officially happening. All right, so we got to keep a close eye on these gamers and we see should what have scores they end up to with. enable large HUD, but that's okay. This also has oh, a yeah. no gold element, which is kind of funny because if you pick up yeah, more money, yeah, you don't want to be picking up then, money. If you pick up money, that's yeah. going to kind of count. You need to drop to the lowest amount possible. Mine right, is mine currently you. inspecting his shop. Yeah. So what's interesting about this challenge is that you just don't need to rob. Uh oh, he's got climbers. There, there is absolutely no need to rob the shops because you've you've begun with two hundred thousand dollars. So once you encounter your one two shop or any other for that matter, you just pick it all up. It's yours. I uh, and Coastline has jetpack teleporter. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really hard to uh, parse the number. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the streams for me as well, real fast. Yeah. So I can get a better grasp on those numbers. Um, can people see them on stream? Uh, it's pretty. I mean, you can see like. They are small. Yeah, they that's small. that's my bad. We should we should have done large HUD. Lesson learned. Mindy did get cursed, so it looks like he is going for the true crown. That's very exciting. I was hoping that we'd see some people going for um, the the True Crown tech, for sure. It looks like Cosine is killing Yang. He might be looking for a back layer shop. I'm going to go ahead and pop out four videos on my end. I can keep good track of their scores. But yeah, I think it's very interesting to have um, a format like this where we're witnessing um, just non-aggro gameplay. It's uh, not a typical way of witnessing Spelunky. And it's also kind of just like nice. If you encounter a good shop, you can just buy stuff. Oh, wow. That did not do what I expected it to. All right. So, I've got my four oh, streams because up now. Box. Yeah, okay. That's that's awkward. Now I've got all of their scores on screen. Nice and good. Um, we already have cue ball down to 100,000. And we just witnessed Mindy entering the gist shop. Oh! Of course. Oh, wait. Course those are super next. expensive. That's why you got cursed. Yeah. Yeah. That'll take a huge hit to your money total. No wonder he got cursed. And Cosine also now doing the gift shop. Excellent, excellent. These gamers planned ahead. Not only is it uh, a, you know nice to spend a lot of that money, but you also therefore get some pretty nice stuff typically. Although this was not the best example. Um, they're they're a little. Yeah, that doesn't. They got work. some okay. weak stuff. I tried to enlarge the money total, but it doesn't. Uh, it is not effective. It looks like what's going to happen now is not necessarily True Crown, but they're going to head to Black Market and hope that that sort of secures the rest of their hundred grand. Yeah. Which is definitely possible. Um, we do have Cue Ball now in Tide Pool. I mean, you can gamble. Like, you can tactically attempt to gamble away all your money. We got another shop for um, 
cosine there. Ooh, Mindy's Black Market. Let's see what he ends up with. This is a pretty expensive Black Market. Oh yeah, Hedget immediately going to cut 40k, and we might see a zero already. Or very close, depending on like what his money is oh, at yeah. like, with oh, monkeys. Oh yeah, oh, that's a huge Black Market. He's down to, down 20K. to 30. He, okay, he has at exactly 625 gold. So if he can find a monkey, there's a That's monkey. True. That monkey. A, oh my god, he caught the monkey. Did you see like what he did there? I'm he a should, little behind you. I okay, think. he's at zero. He's at zero dollars. He hit zero. Mindy has reached zero dollars in like what was, was that? Like yes, four, six, five oh, minutes. What a, what a crazy, crazy performance. How long was that? He I dropped mean, from 200 in five minutes. That was less than five minutes for sure. It took him five minutes to go from 200k to exactly zero. That was incredible. Because yeah. there is that angle. Once you get down to your lowest score total, you can't just buy something that is more than you can afford, obviously. Yeah, but so he mind perfectly me, like, set he, it up. He did the math so fast. Like Before I could even register what was happening, he got himself down to exactly $625, which is the amount of money that a monkey can steal from you at once. <laughs> Yeah, I will note that monkeys in this game can steal small nuggets of gold from you. So it is easier than you would think, but it, it was very likely there for Mindy to end up with like 100 or 75 if he didn't yeah, some happen other to get number that, remind, that, could that be remainder beat. to line up. We have up. Choco now down to his $475. So yeah, so that's basically, that is what happened to Choco, is, is now he's at a number where a monkey cannot steal that amount from him. Yeah. Wow, that was really impressive for Mindy. Yeah. What a what an incredible like he he must have practiced ahead of time with like <coughs> getting down to that exact number value. That or I guess he could he could have gotten very lucky and fortunate. Yeah. But yeah, wow, what a what a that was incredible. That was super fast. Yeah, I mean nobody else thought it did did Cosine go guest? I see he's cursed. I can't remember. Cosine did get guest, yeah. Okay, yeah. He did also go guess it was just a little bit slower. He's Q -ball, also without the Ujat, did so he needs to try and find. Yeah. Q-Ball, I will note, did not go to the black market either. I'm not sure. He he has spent... He is down about 70k, but... Yeah. Was not able to effectively spend all of his money. Going another a good bit source of, a of money route. is definitely the challenges, right? Yeah. So if he can get so. to 7-1 for the sun challenge somehow, that would be... And the further you get, in, like, progressing in the game, your things get more expensive. Yeah, exactly. So getting far in the game does help you out a lot here. Poor Mindy can't afford his challenge. Yeah, poor guy. And poor he... Cosine is just trying to find the black market. <laughs> He's got a teleporter, even. I guess his salad system is bad. Yeah. All right, we have cue ball gambling. Might drop to 25 $25. That is... Choco in the bottom right, isn't it? Oh, so yeah, sorry, that was Choco. Choco's now down to $25. Ooh, that is 25 yeah. Which is the lowest score you can have except for $0 without some quirkiness. Yes, involved. that is correct. You can, in theory, drop to small... Oh, he's <coughs> picking money back up. He's going to try and go for that 0 Okay, so but he's banked the 25 is the important thing. It's not about what he yeah, has at the end. We're going to... It's the lowest score at any given point. So he's going to try to, to play a little bit of Math Blaster here, see if he can get to exactly 5,000, I think, in, in the we Tide We have Cosine bowl. in the BM. Notably, and this is really interesting, this is something Mindy avoided. You might have noticed at the start of the run, Mindy did not buy specs. Oh. And that makes a difference because it meant that he didn't get the big spender discount. Everything Cosine is purchasing right now is 10% off because his first shop, he purchased everything. Yeah, I mean, if anybody is going to know the math on big spender discount and how to get yourself down to zero, it's going to be Cosine, who famously did the $1 run in yeah. this game. We're seeing some math being done on this BM. Yeah, he, he's doing a little bit of accounting right now. Let's see what's the lowest number he can get. Because he has to, he could beat 25, by the way, without getting zero. He, he, he could get like a it's true. 15 or something. It, that could it's happen. True. I, we, they have one more minute to get as low as they possibly can. Yeah, and it looks like Q-Ball is trying to do some math. Okay, so Q-Ball tried to clone a item in a shop, which does not let you buy it again. That does no, not work. It's, it is uh, made no longer for sale at that point. 
Okay, Cosine has gotten to 415, so he's going to try to go find a monkey, I think, to steal some nuggies. Which, okay, he's at 1040. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Uh, Q Ball's going to have to bubble skip and try to get, yeah. Oh, he killed the monkey. So he should also throw away all of his bombs here, by the way. Oh, Q Ball is dead. Ooh, I, I think Cosine ends at 40 here. Yeah, that's that's not going to be lower than 25. That's crazy. Did you expect wow. this to go this well? No. I, this yeah, is Cosine incredible. is at 40. There was we. I tried to think about as much of it as I can, but there's so many small details that are um, hard to predict in something like this, and this was very so impressive. So if me. Cosine can figure out a gem he can pick up to try no, to get I, to 15, I think we're out of time though, right? Time's up. Yeah, time okay. is absolutely up. Uh, you should uh, make up a five-digit number to tell Q-Ball, by the way. Uh, we don't need to. It's okay. fine. They know their numbers, probably. When did time end? Was was anyone paying attention to how much I had when that happened? Uh, your lowest score was 40. Okay, good. It's I got lowest, the 40. It's lowest, not ending. Um, I, I so... want to make sure I got that before the time ran out. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. You did. You did. Excellent. Okay, that's you all I cared about. Was anyone keeping track of mine? I think I got to 25 at one point. You did. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to go through it right now. So, first of all, that was really fun to watch. There were so many small little micro strategies that we saw. I'm Mindy so in particular. about the leprechaun and the spike shoes. I'm Mindy in particular. So at the first shop, he did not buy specs, and I was so confused about it until I saw you co-sign go to the black market with your big spender discount. Yep, yep. And Mindy specifically avoided buying the specs to not get big spender. So... Big reveal, okay, in case you were not watching each other. Mindy got to zero dollars in five minutes. Oh. Ooh, nice. Wow. So, played. first place goes to Mindy, which I, like, absolutely crazy how quickly you managed to pull that off. That was super nice. impressive. Um, second place goes to Choco. Choco did not drop to zero dollars, but did at one point hit $25, somewhere around, like, seven or eight minutes in which is notably the lowest you can get without any weird discounting uh, mathematical nonsense. So that's very impressive, too. Um, cosine, of course, on your death screen, you're at $40. That was your lowest total that you managed to reach. I did and then... horrible. You oh, pull up. Place. Let's go. I forgot about VM. And you tried to clone a shop item, right? Yeah. I... yeah. <laughs> which doesn't let you buy it. It, it just work. gives it to you for free, which is so unfortunate. Really but it's fun it. seeing the strategies that you're going for. I was a big fan of it. Because, um, yeah, the challenges are also pretty good ways of spending money. But, yeah, that was really good. You guys blew it out of the park. That was super fun to watch. I <laughs> went for Big Spender just because I figured there was no way I was going to do this clean and like end up with zero because i didn't get big spenders so i was like you know i'll probably get more bang for my buck if i do that in case i throw and don't get to bm it was kind of yeah. my mentality for i saw why. you I were just, spending a little bit it finding it on my i, first I was just like make sure i get to the bm <laughs> yeah choco finished it up in um not the bm but on uh tusk gambling apparently nice slowly whittling down to uh, 25 dollars from five thousand yeah no that was really good i even even um your run cue ball even though it didn't get to a super low value that was fun to see what strategies you were going for because it's hard to think of like what exactly you do in a run like this yeah yeah i kind of loosely yeah, planned it out just buy out every shop go for the gist and then try to get to bm and then use monkeys I, i'm still sad about the leprechaun because i had the spike shoes because i was going to just stand there and let that leprechaun just steal all of my money if i was able yeah, to do that. just rob you blind but I, like i timed that when i knew what the event was going to be i was like how long would it take for that you, you could lose a lot of money to a leprechaun if you get it like kind of in the middle of the run. Temple or just city of gold uh you, you can get, get it any everywhere. level but they spawn, they spawn especially in city of gold they spawn everywhere but dwelling and sunken i think other than like yeah. special levels like they're not in ice caves either yeah but the city of gold does usually have at least one many times to. unless you're doing aje or if you you have one health and you're doing like a, a low percent run or something then they won't be there yeah then they're gone then they're they on vacation spawn. they specifically program not to spawn if you go in there with one health cursed 
Yeah, that's true. Cue ball uniquely um, gets to walk away with the tens of thousands of dollars, which you guys no longer have because you spent. Oh it, no! So. Wait, is that what this was the whole time? Yeah, we're actually oh, getting no. a cash prize. Oh, I got prizes. scammed. So you'll get forty dollars. Well, that's go. good for like. What one am I meal. supposed to spend this on? Like half of a AAA video game? What can I even do with forty dollars? <laughs> you'll have to figure it I, out. I, Mindy uh, is going like, to have to really figure something out with his. Five, like four. Like five subway sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. Four copies of Spelunky too. Amazing. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. Thank you all for participating. Y'all did fantastic. It was super fun to watch, actually. It was really, really good. Yeah, that was still definitely yeah, that fun. Was, that was fun. Just one, like, interesting task to solve instead of doing, like, a bingo. We kind of had, like, all three of those things. We had, we have, I don't know, we didn't do the bingo yet, right? But we have the bingo, and then there's, like, roulette for, like, a few harder tasks. And then there's this for, like, one specific task. Yeah, and the the creativity angle is very fun to see play out in real time. But yeah, I think uh, we're going to go ahead and start getting our, our group free ready. So thanks for all you for participating. You can go about yeah. your day, do whatever you'd like with your winnings, of course. <laughs> I guess that's a glitch <laughs> exhibition. Uh, buying, buying all of you Splunky too. Yeah, exactly. All right. So we'll send you out, and then we'll get ready for our third and final group. All, all right. right. Thank you. See ya. That's right. We also need to find out whose computer is going to crash. So I'm currently sending a rocket in the air. It is hurtling towards a randomly selected Twitch chatter. So in around uh, two to three minutes, be prepared. One of you will be chosen and your PC will be destroyed. You will need to restart it. Um, it's necessary. That's how we fuel this Taskmaster segment, of course. Um, that's the energy that it runs on is the energy of dead PCs. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get our third and final group prepared. Um, our first two tasks were pretty quirky. Lots of uh, strategy and a little bit of um, uh, skill involved. This next one technically has those two things, but it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, a little bit different. Our next group is uh, featuring, of course, Cotton. Eddie Boy, Goo Goo Bo, and Hazel. Um, and <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this one. I, I am so pleased with how the first two went. And this one, I am very excited for, for very different reasons. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be, it's going to be a bit of a silly one. Should be in a co-op lobby. That'd be fun. We should do some, like, co-op related tasks at some point. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Either throw all the people together in one lobby to have to deal with the same seed, or um, maybe we'll do, like, teams of people against each other. It'd be pretty fun. It'd be pretty fun. Gotta keep this in mind for the future Taskmaster stuff. Yeah. All right, so let's get everything ready on the technical side of things. And then shortly we'll begin. Do you want to do? Group are we gonna text. bring them in before we start our little blurb? Um. Yeah. Once once you've got everything ready, we'll just bring them in and we'll we'll discuss the the final task. Because we're already running a bit behind, so. Yeah. Hold on. We got we got a we got the neon blast of Twitch streams loading right now. Preparing. I will just bring them dot, all in. Dot, dot. Well, uh, meow. <laughs> welcome. I love. I, I I forgot. To, I should have disabled those. A lot of people have like soundboards when they join. Oh yeah. Um, welcome, Gugu Bo Cotton, Edu, uh, Edu rather. I I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah, and remember Hazel. Now. Nice. Um, thank you for joining us for the third and final task. Um, if you all can get ready and and um, uh, prepare your seed ahead of time. Uh, since we're gonna just discuss the task now, because it's gonna be seated. Um, but yeah, we did we did two pretty interesting pr tasks that had good depth to them, like some real strategy. Um, this task is going to uh, throw that out the window um, because just to just to briefly, it, it's red light, green light. Um, let me go ahead and explain the rules. Um, each player will begin at the same time and have ten minutes to get as far as possible in a low percent run. Players can only move when I say green light, 
and must freeze in place after I say red light. If a player is caught moving too long after a red light, they will be ordered to restart their run immediately. Um, when frozen during a red light, players cannot use movement or jump inputs. They can whip use resources or interact with objects as long as it's not jumping or using a movement input it's okay that way they have a fighting chance when they freeze and something tries to kill them uh, and everybody will be playing on the same set seed that i checked in advance to be mostly okay um i i was kind of hoping it would have a dark have a dark level but it doesn't have any dark level so you don't have to worry about that um but that's the only only info you're going to get out of me um do all of y'all have any questions before we begin? What on earth? I have a question. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I, it, so like, if you're falling down, it's drop, and you call red light. Does that count as moving? No, Does you'll be die? fine. I, I'm okay. not gonna be cruel to you. Um, <laughs> if you are like on a spring trap or something, when I say red light, you won't be. You won't be punished for that. Um, it would be very funny. So maybe if I don't like your attitude and the way that you're playing, maybe I'll be mean. But generally speaking, no, you'll be fine. It's just mostly input based. So as long as you're not inputting anything, you should be fine. And you'll have like a little bit of leeway too because of like stream delay and stuff. So you won't just be like destroyed if you slightly push the button for too long. Okay, um, is Cotton live? I hope so. That would be good. I think I saw their stream earlier, so... Let me check on my mm -hmm. phone. Yeah, I also have a question for Hex. So, uh, how much of a time, like, how much of time do we have to react, or do you just say red light and that immediately have to stop? Okay, they are live. Uh, uh, you'll have like about um a full second of leeway, and I'll also like try to keep account for the fact that there's some small stream delay. Yeah. Um, it, I'll be forgiving because I don't want to just throw people back into the dwelling constantly because that's not very fun. Um, and theoretically, you'll probably just die anyway. So mm, true. <laughs> I think the greater threat of this segment is not actually me, but Spelunky. Mm -hmm. So if I'm like jumping over a lava pit, I can just finish the jump. Yeah, example, you don't have to. You yeah. don't have to like immediately freeze and decide to die. Uh, yeah. But if you're like in the middle of something and you keep jumping and keep moving, I don't know, it might be risky. It's all down to hex discretion. Play um, wisely, gamers. Yes. So you'll need to be cautious. Um, and then for this segment, we're not gonna pull you all back into a different channel because you need to be able to hear me. Um, you all just need to mute your mics when we begin, which will start in, I guess, like now, because we got the stream up, right? Yeah, we're ready to go. I'm just gonna serve and mute everybody. Okay, so everybody will be muted. Um, you'll get to hear me make fun of you though, because of course you need to know when I'm saying red light and uh, green light as well. Um, but yeah, you're all ready on the seated screen, I assume. Just give me a, a ready in the thread that we have to make sure. I'll even post a question there. And once you're all ready, we'll do a countdown and begin. Roche says, if you're on a conveyor belt, drop a rope and climb it. You're welcome for epic tech. I have no idea what that means. That is, that is craziness. All right, all of our participants are ready. <laughs> Uh, you don't need to wait for me to say green light, by the way. When when you start the run, you can you can start until I hit you with the red light. All right, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Begin. And surely they will not suffer throughout the duration of this task. I really mean, we've already seen fine. so much seated suffering today. Like, oh, I, I yeah. don't know if it can get any worse. Oh, yeah. All right. They're all going. Keep your ears open, gamers. Red light! I see. All right. Green light. It, yeah, the, the stream delay is going to make this tricky because I don't know if any of them actually stop. <laughs> oh, there it is! Okay! Woo! This is going to be delayed. Red light! Green light! 
How is there that much stream delay? That's incredible. I don't know. That's incredible, though. But they should all stop around the same... No, that's really funny. Yeah. No, that's like... pretty funny. Green light. I really look forward to this, because I'm going to say it, and then I get to see what happens moments later. I can't be biased, because I can't see where they're at. Red light! Green light. The thing about this task that you have to understand is that when you are forced to freeze, you have to deal with anything that you are currently contending with. So if a, an enemy is suddenly in your path and you weren't careful enough, that's that's potentially... I believe that Hazel may have died to Quill back there because of that. <laughs> yeah, red light! Certainly no problems in Volcana, I'm sure. Green light! Should have gone jungle. Go jungle. I did, I did check jungle, admittedly. Red light! And green light. We'll keep that one short. You don't have to say frozen for too long. Edu boy just barely whipped that arrow in time for that one. <laughs> Red light. Okay, green light. You can go. You have permission to. I'm trying to watch closely here. Yeah, we'll have to give them a little faith that they don't lie up out there for this level. Keep track of it, gamers. Keep track of it. Yeah, Quillback has been a problem. Red light. Red light again. Green light. We'll see if anybody got tricked by that. Surely not. Surely they're listening. <laughs> that, that bat went for Gugabo. I will oh, say Gugabo did move from the he bat. He moved. Gugabo, reset. That's unacceptable. Red light. The whip was fine, but the jump and movement, you can't do that. Those are the illegal buttons. Did I say green light? Green light. If, it, if I... Uh, it's fine. You can move again. You have my permission. Yeah, I can't... It's actually quite good that I can't intentionally sabotage. That's one of the nice qualities about... About this stream delay. Red light! Green light. I, I love that no one's even gotten to Tide Pool. It's, this this task is built different. This task is completely unhinged. By the way, red light. Also, please stop moving. Don't move. Don't move. Please continue to not move. Okay, green light. You can move again. You can go. Oh, you Quillback. Oh, Quillback. Oh, Quillback. You know, Quillback doesn't listen. He just moves whenever he wants to. He would certainly not listen when I say red light. But theoretically, all of our races were listening and, and stopped before I said green light. I was, I was I, I think that was stream delay, but that was a little close, Edu. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Oh, this is fine. I understand. Red light, Bo. Please stop moving. But just stop doing what you're doing. Stop it. Okay, now green light. You can go again. It turns out Spelunky 2 is a little bit difficult when you have to abruptly pause for four seconds every now and then. I love seeing it happen, too. Seeing it's so Spelunky good. Spelunky players just stopping in place. Oh, fantastic. Red light, by the way. Please show me. I would love to watch it again. Green light, though. You can move again. Okay, but red light, so stop again immediately. And then um, and then green light. Eddie Boy was riding Olmec there. I see that! I said green light, right? Surely. Oh my god, I killed him because of that! Oh my god! <laughs> Olmec is so bad for this. <laughs> you might want to use your bombs on Olmec. I'm, I'm not kidding. Red light, by the way. You're going to want to stop. Look at green light. <laughs> Hazel's in jungle. Ooh, how exciting. How exciting. 
not intentionally sabotaging, I would never do that. If I did, though, I would do it by saying red light right now. And then saying green light. I'm pretty sure Hazel was moving there. Oh, yeah? Do you want to call it? Do you want to instruct Hazel to reset? No. Oh, no, another whole back death. Red light. Green light. Surely Gugabo survived. I think the I think the Omec fight takes long enough that you can uh Red light And green light. I debated allowing movement on Olmec for the red light portion, but I kind of really enjoy the chaos of them having to deal with it. This is really funny. Yeah, Hazel got lucky that red light was during the cutscene. She is gonna use her bombs. Red light! And a green light. I'm just waiting for them to all suddenly... St Hazel failed the bombs. Mm, red light! And Hazel's dead. <laughs> <laughs> green light! Oh, failing the bombs. You will regret that. You will regret that. That might cost you. So Hazel's been to Olmec. Gugavo's obviously in Tidepool. That's true. That's where, true. where have our other gamers been? Um, I believe, uh, Edu got to Cotton, or Edu got to, um, Olmec. Did Cotton get to Olmec? Uh, Gugabo has elected to, uh, just stand still for the rest of the time. Hmm, interesting. What if I say that you have to move during green light? Which I just said, so it's green light now. What will Gugabo do then? Probably jump in. <laughs> I love the red light. Well, oh my god, Kamiro's getting so owned. <laughs> Uh, red light. And then maybe hit him with a hit him with a quick green light. All right, there's one more minute. Take it as far as you can. Okay, gamers. pretty safe on that one. Red light. Green light. Him some chance, give him some room to breathe, and right when they suspect at least, hit him with the red Kamiro, light. Or, that's not Camiro, dude. Pilot, no, Kamiro. pilot players. That is Cotton. Green light, by the way. Cotton got owned again. All right, all right. I I can't believe I did that. I just like looked at the pilot player and I was like, oh, of course. <laughs> Camiro. It's not like there aren't other people who play pilot. It could be Bumper. And red light. Gugabo is poisoned. Think, I think that we can call it there. Gugabo has reached the ice caves and like immediately died. <laughs> oh, no, he survived. Okay. All right, we can we can unmute the participants now. <laughs> the poor poor participants. <laughs> Welcome back from hell. How was your stay? I, I really appreciate you pausing every single time I entered 1-3. Like, oh, yeah. all of them. <laughs> yeah. Look, I could I was not biased, because I had to predict what you were going to do 15 seconds from now, okay? So every time that I red-lighted your Olmec, uh, it was without malice, I swear. Yeah, Cotton. Th those, that, like, one lava pot in Volcana with, like, the, the conveyor... That was so funny. Yeah, Vol Volcana seems deceptively terrible for this. Yeah. Like, I feel like jungle is actually safer. No area is safe from Hectic. No no area is safe See, from the red light. You think jungle is safe, and then you get paused next to a witch doctor, and then it's the sad times. He doesn't kill you, you just have one health. It's fine. It depends on how long you're paused for. <laughs> he spawns oh, a true. Skull again. Yeah, he does do it again, actually, so that could kill you. Yeah, now that you mentioned that. I guess you have a point there well i believe if i'm not mistaken our final standings are five dash one from gugu bow um and then olmec from both hazel and edu and then cotton 
might have escaped Volcana. I had a hard time keeping track of all four of you, but I, I know that only Gugubo managed to get past Typhoon. Mm -hmm. And that was so cruel. I would have made it out of Olmec if you didn't do the double. Yeah, I did. I <laughs> that was God, actually I so bad. I swear I, to God. Yeah, that, I jumped that was on the... Olmec's head preemptively just I because I waited for the. It oh, was yeah. the only red light throughout that whole thing that I immediately felt bad about. Was the <laughs> double red light right when you entered Olmec. That was that was unusually cruel. Well, yeah. that worked though. That was content. Yeah, sure. <laughs> was content. yeah. Gugabo wins. Well, guess... Everyone else loses. Gugabo gets a. Everybody no, else no, got that... to Olmec, right? That's pessimistic. Okay, Gugabo gets a gold medal, and everybody else gets a silver medal. Ooh, okay? we're gonna have to manufacture mm, yeah. some extra silver medals. You weren't expecting that. Well, to be fair, we did apparently pay like tens of thousands of dollars to Cue Ball in the previous segment. So that's. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> chump change then. Yeah, compared to compared to what we had to deal with that. Well, thank you all for participating in that task. I feel like all that was the most popular one for people to select when we gave people options. I feel like people may be rethinking their choice <laughs> the four of you actually played it. <laughs> you could make such like a torturous like mod out of this also that like physically restricts you from inputting things. Oh yeah, if we do it again, we might have to look into something like that because that would be really, really funny. Just imagine I mean, how, how evil. Okay, except so Olmec, this is very fun. Yeah, yeah except for Olmec. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think next time we'll allow you to just move on Olmec. I'm but hey, you made it work, Ujibo. Not okay. You you made it work. Look, I didn't I didn't know you were on Olmec. I had delay. We talked about this. You survived. It's fine. I also died to Quillback a few times because I had to stop. Yeah, I, I heard that Quillback yeah. got a lot of kills from this. It's not surprising at all. But I think that's going to wrap it up for the Taskmaster segment. Thank you, Group 3, for participating in the worst one by far. I'm sorry for all the red lights that killed you. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed it despite that. <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, we're going to send you out to the pit, wrap up this segment, and uh, get on to whatever the next one is. I believe it's HD Bingo. Oh, I'm in that, aren't I? A little bit. Well, thank you all for joining us. Go ahead and send them out. Clay School about your day. Have fun. Can they just leave? I am a... Uh, okay, you guys can just leave. Place is busy, right, apparently. Okay. Wow. Goodbye. Thank you. And that's it. Well, despite the technical difficulties, I really enjoyed that. I think that went fantastic. That was super exciting. It's so good that I turned into a gray rectangle. This is what it looks like when I'm like super stoked. Um, not a lot of people know that about me. Uh, oh, hey, I came back, I'm real. Um, thanks everybody who participated. Uh, I was really worried about organizing this, but everybody was like super duper helpful and cooperative and communicative, which was very cool. Um, sorry about the uh, technical difficulties. Hopefully the segment ended up being worth it in the end. Um, something I would definitely like to do again in the future. So there may be um, a full-blown independent Taskmaster event coming sometime next year. We'll have to see. And of course, once again, just want to say shout-outs to Loki. Loki was originally going to be joining me in the commentary for this. Um, they were not feeling very well. Got a pretty bad migraine after playing Classic, which, let's be honest, all of us do. That's kind of how it works. Um, so just one more time, a little round of applause. Thank you, Loki, for helping with all the organization and coming up with some of the tasks. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for Taskmaster, and we'll throw it over to uh, HD Bingo. Yep, I'm just gonna start getting them ready to go here. Oh my god, I just we just like went to art screen and we see Gugabo's onk skip captcha. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Incredible. All right, I guess I have to drop out and stop being God and turn into a bingo player. Regular bingo player. Wish me luck. Oh, you're actually going to be on. Yeah, go live, please. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, you can have tunes, but be warned, they're going to be really loud initially, and then I'm going to fix them. Jesus Christ.
All right, are you ready for bingo? Uh, hello? Oh, me. Yes, hello. I'm ready for bingo. Yeah. We have our co-commentator, Kirby703. We're going to be seeing some HD bingo. So this is going to be a single card format, just trying to get one, um, one line of bingo. Can you make the tunes louder? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, right, we have another commentator. I forgot. Hi, Van. Hello. How's everyone doing? How's chat doing? All right, I hope.